when thinking about the, the next milestones in MS research, I think we have two big questions. The one is around um, progressive MS, and the other one is around dissecting more specific treatments for individual patients. So again, filling the gaps in our knowledge about the disease and pushing this research area forward. I think one of the biggest breakthroughs that we I've seen is that we're now trying to hit the, the disease from many angles, not just targeting the cellular uh, component, but also the psychological component, the, the physical symptoms that patients tend to um, deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. We're now treating them as well. The next breakthroughs I think that we need to uh, focus our attention on for MS treatment uh, is really to focus on the progressive type of the disease, the progressive form, and in particular trying to understand how we can uh, protect the nervous system from the damage, protect neurons in the brain and spinal cord from being damaged by the disease and to promote recovery of the myelin that's lost in the disease. Early diagnosis um, and preventing the disease from happening in the first place. I really think that that's a, a, a great way to um, put an end to MS ultimately. But for those who've got MS, it's all about remyelination. It's all about repairing the damage that has already occurred. There are a number of breakthroughs that I think we need to make in terms of MS research. I think that one of the key things um, with MS research is that the biology of MS is still a bit of a black box and so we still need to grapple better with the biology underlying um, MS and MS progression. I think particularly understanding progressive MS and what drives it is one of the key breakthroughs that we need to make and I'm working on that. <laughs>